Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, checking in on gold, we'll look at miners, we'll look at silver, and we'll look at USLV. Starting with gold, we had an all-out dump to end the week on the backs of the job report numbers that the market reacted bullish to. The precious metals reacted bearish. We had a bearish break from this tightening pattern that I was watching on the hourly. Almost a bull break, but on that volatility in the initial reaction, we did not close above that resistance. Two candlesticks in a row. Saw the all-out dump, and we are in full control of the bears so let's see where we stand on the daily time frame we've got bear flag after bear flag weak bounce attempt continuation weak bounce attempt continuation so we have broken the higher low pattern and that is a big red flag for the bulls because it was a double top and now we have lost the higher lows so we will anticipate to keep setting lower highs that being said the daily rsi is down at 30 last time we hit 30 we saw a very significant bounce and zooming back, we can see that we have dipped well below 30 here in the fairly recent past. This was back in December and October. So we'll be watching to see if the bulls will defend the, or will if, if we will see an oversold bounce begin to develop. We need to see a bullish reversal candlestick at the very minimum on the daily time frame. And the hourly time frame at this point is just an oversold bounce. This isn't really proving anything. We have to see higher lows and higher highs begin to clearly form. But we have a ton of recovering to do. So I personally would not be looking for any kind of oversold bounce until we get a bullish reversal candlestick on the daily time frame, indicating that that is what is going to be playing out. So the weekly time frame, you can see things falling apart a little bit here. A significant break in the uptrend. And this is a, noting the other commodities, oil and natural gas both made bearish breaks of their longer term weekly patterns. Back in 2016, we saw the commodities bounce and both of those two names formed longer term higher low uptrends all of 2016. Those uptrends broke for both oil and natural gas and now we're seeing it break here from gold. And this is not because of a strong dollar. The dollar is in a downtrend on the daily time frame all of 2017. So commodities week and the dollar week, definitely not the norm that we see, but that's what's going on. So gold bears in control, short-term daily oversold bounce likely to occur sometime in the short term, in the near term, I should say. And in terms of resistance, it's the high of this last bounce attempt that was up at 1229.08. Anything under 1229.08 is just another lower high on the daily time frame. We're looking down at the next support, aside from the low of this dump of 1207.21, 1200 psychological is the next support level that we are looking at. So how the miners are faring here, the bear miners are taking over. We saw a ton of choppy action back and forth for about six weeks, and then ever so slightly, the bears took over here. Once we broke this low of consolidation back in mid-May, late May, that was 2220. As soon as we broke that, we just started forming lower highs and lower lows with a big time pushback. And now we're looking at the low of May, and that is 2089, the weekly time frame, losing the 200 week moving average support after we held it or closed right at it twice in 2017. So this is a significant development because after this support of 2089, we don't have much support until down at 1952 would be the next level I'm looking at. So the bears are starting to take back over from the miners standpoint and the bear miners are starting to continue to see that strength that we saw to begin or I should, really the summer is when we started seeing those bear miners take the lead. So GDXJ clear bear break occurred when the higher low daily pattern broke at 3215 that level broke and we saw a dump play out. Now we're looking at the next support of 3089 break 3089 and we're looking down at 2968 so the weekly time frame still holding some exponential moving average supports but it's a very clear lower high and lower low pattern keeping those bears in control increase in bear volume so bear miners is the direction to be looking although well aware that with gold close to seeing an oversold bounce depending on how this daily rsi goes that we may want to be patient in looking for a bear miners position so i would be scouting for a bear minor position on an oversold gold bounce anticipating gold is just going to set another lower high all of this going on we have silver 
absolutely dumping way more oversold than gold the hourly time frame is a bit skewed be by this lower wick which didn't really occur we didn't really drop down to 1430 but what we're seeing is just a very clear lower high lower low pattern and we're dumping right now we're seeing an oversold bounce play out not proving anything for the bulls other than an oversold bounce the four hour rsi got down here around the low 20s and now the daily time frame we're down here at the low 20s so i'm looking back at this last oversold bounce that we saw and we were covering this in the videos as well i was looking for a 10 maybe a 10 15 percent bounce we got way more than that so we're looking for a similar scenario the rsi dipped to 20 and it maintained at 20 for about a week of trading so keep that in mind doesn't mean we're just going to hit down oversold and then bounce right away in a v-shaped recovery we might have to build a base of support and uh, same thing here we have to see a bullish reversal candlestick but we know to be scouting for a swing trade bullish entry based on previous history what the rsi has done at these levels and based on the oversold conditions so we'll see if the hourly time frame can begin to form higher lows and higher highs we have a very key resistance in the short term might as well call it 16 it was 15.98.5 so 16 psychological resistance is a key resistance in the short term and the bulls have to get over that to change the trend also watching for a bullish reversal candlestick on the daily time frame here as well so uslv had a really nice bounce last time we were in this scenario a little bit more oversold last time on silver but 1096 all the way to 1466 that's a 45 percent move in about a month's time so keeping an eye out i'm not going to be looking for a month trade i will be looking for a multiple week trade for an oversold bounce to play out but being a little bit more cautious in terms of the expectation i would be looking for perhaps a one to two dollar bounce once we do get going so here on the weekly time frame we're hitting lower lows this is the lowest price that we've seen in over a year and a half so we aren't really looking at anything here in terms of uslv in terms of support we need to be looking at what silver is going to be looking at for support so uslv looking back here the low of 2015 at the end of the year that was 955 and on friday we hit 919 so we're at multiple year lows on uslv but keeping in mind it is a three times leverage dtf and it is subject to time decay so again the supports that we're going to be looking at are going to be on the daily time frame for silver and we're going to be looking at the next support scrolling back and really almost the weekly time frame that we have to look at but i'm looking down here at 1477 if we do see continuation to the downside 15 psychological will be the next level but you can see we don't have much support in this range where we currently are trading next clear weekly support is 1477 so that's a long way down and if we do see any bear flags on the four hour time frame or indications that we are not done to the downside we could see a move down towards 15 psychological so this was a, a very clear bear break in terms of losing the higher low pattern and then just starting to set lower highs and lower lows could be a, a bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern we looked at here with the neckline of support where these lows touched so we would have broken that neckline just friday so a lot of bearish indications on all of these commodities longer term breaking weekly supports and we are going to watch closely to see this silver oversold bounce begin to play out. I appreciate you watching. Hope you have a good rest of your weekend. We'll see you soon.